Yo, it's Smallmouth Crush. Monster Bass has done it again. An amazing monthly subscription with some awesome, awesome baits. We're going to talk about it. That's all coming up. The March Bag is something very, very special. It's baits that have won the Bassmaster Classic. It's bait, line, as well as terminal tackle. And a little bonus crankbait in here, I see. I want to break it all down, share a little bit about the history of these baits, and let you know my opinion on where I would throw these. And we'll talk a little bit about how they actually won the Bassmaster Classic, which is the biggest bass tournament in the world. I've been to every single Bassmaster Classic since 2007 when Boyd Duckett won. And we actually have a bait in here that Boyd used to help seal the victory. You've never been to the Bassmaster Classic in person, in the arena, at the final Sunday weigh-in. Something special. It's got to be on your bucket list if you're a hardcore bass angler, for sure. So here's another cool thing. Monster Bass actually partnered with Ken Duke, uh, who I know I've met before. He is a... Uh, he's like the bass geek. He knows anything and everything when it comes to bass fishing, history. He knows everybody's name. He knows what date they were born. He knows what their favorite food is. Like, this guy knows everything. And so he helped pick these baits that are put in this bag for March, and he did an awesome job. Ken is a wealth of information. Uh, you can certainly uh, learn a lot just by listening to him, but we're gonna take his advice and his picks for some of the top baits that have won Bassmaster Classics in the past. All right, I'm just gonna grab a bait. Of course, we got a crankbait, a square bill. This is a Strike King 1.5 KVD square bill. And of course, Kevin Van Dam, arguably one of the best bass anglers in the country, in North America, in the world, who's ever picked up a fishing pole and competed, has multiple Bassmaster classic wins, regular season wins. He just dominates. He certainly does. KVD's thrown a square bill in the 2011 Bassmaster Classic down in Louisiana, uh, New Orleans. I was there. Uh, it was uh, incredible to watch that whole event unfold. There was a lot of fog, fog delays, uh, just an interesting series of events that took place in that tournament. Some anglers were making super long runs, and with that fog delay, they had a little bit of challenge as far as fishing time. But KVD went to work with this square bill, and he was throwing around hard cover, so basically stumps, wood, and these fish were in the pre-spawn mode, and they were positioning themselves in and around these stumps, and he was basically triggering a bite by banging this square bill up into that structure and getting a reaction bite, which it truly is an amazing bait uh, for that technique, and it's pretty cool that they put this in the box because you guys are going to catch a bunch of fish from now year-round, but this really does excel uh, during the springtime months when those fish get up shallow. You can really cover water and you can get a lot of reaction bites. And listen, the color is perfect. The color that came in this bag, Phantom Watermelon Red Craw. So it's, it's a great springtime color, but it's also gonna work in dirtier stained water as well as clear water. It's really a, a diverse crankbait color uh, when it comes to different applications. I wouldn't be afraid to throw this for smallmouth and crystal clear water, and of course, the springtime, how can you argue with some type of red uh, in your crankbaits, for sure. All right, digging deeper into the bag. We got some line. Of course, Berkeley Triline XL Smooth. This is monofilament. Uh, you're going to get a 330-yard spool, 12-pound test line. This line is tough, okay? You're not breaking this line by any means. It's super smooth. It's going to cast your baits really, really far. So this line right here, the Trilene XL, is responsible for five Bassmaster Classic wins. So five times in the history of Bassmaster Classics, the winner was throwing their baits on this line. And so that really says something. In fact, uh, Ken shared with us that back in the day, now this is probably a long time ago, and it probably would never be able to happen today, 
but competitors were actually banned from using Berkeley in competition because there was another line company that wanted to sponsor the whole event that actually did. And so in the rules, you couldn't even throw this stuff. Crazy, who would have thought? Today, of course, uh, they opened up, they're a little more relaxed when it comes to the different rules and how you can fish a tournament. So you're definitely allowed to throw some Trilene and XL. And I would suggest grabbing some of this line and using it when it comes in your bag. Uh, the 12 pound is gonna be really good, especially the amount of filament for any top water application. So if you're gonna throw like a pop bar or a walking bait, you're gonna find this to be really effective. It's also gonna be a great Carolina rig leader. So the leader material from the Carolina weight and the swivel, the line between that and the hook, this is going to make some really good Carolina rig material. And you know what? Don't be afraid to throw crankbaits and jerkbaits on this as well. You're going to really find that this is going to hold up. So take that 1.5 square bill. If you wanted to pair that up with this line, you're good to go. So the next item is actually soft plastic, a creature bait. Creature baits have been around for quite a while, but in the 90s and the late 90s, they were kind of under the radar. They were kept really secret. And we have a Gambler Bacon kind, it's called. Cool color, man. Like a, like a deep purple, some green fleck, just an awesome color to use around stained water. And you can see the appendages. Here's the cool thing about Monster Bass. Like, I never would have known that this plastic, this creature bait was out there. No idea. And now it really, sparked my interest just because of how this is designed. It's almost like a, I don't even know how to describe it guys. You tell me, but uh, it's got the two appendages up front, two more big appendages to, to move water, and then it's got a curly tail in the back of that bait. And so this was actually Texas rig. Davey Height won the classic in 1999 on this bait. And instead of traditionally, you know, flip in a creature bait. He was actually swimming this back and getting bites and obviously won the Bassmaster Classic on it. So it is a special bait. And so this is gonna be a little sneaky bait I'm gonna be throwing this coming season. So in 1988, Gidu Hibden won the Bassmaster Classic on the James River of all places, a tidal body of water. And he was finesse fishing this jig pretty much throwing it at times all the way up to the bank and dragging it in the water so he wouldn't spook the fish. So he was around really spooky fish that if they, they heard that splash, instead of going over to investigate, they would swim away. And so he found that the way to trigger a bite was to cast this jig and cast it up onto the bank and drag it into the water, which is definitely a technique that I've utilized in the past and it definitely has its time and place when it comes to putting fish in the boat. They brought this bag out of retirement for this, for this Monster Bass bag. Crazy, so Monster Bass actually took this bait that won a Bassmaster Classic just a year later. Hank Parker was on the James River and was throwing this Texas rigged, the Hales Craw Worm. And he was working banks that basically looked like nothing just mud banks, and his theory, which turned out to be true, was a lot of the other good-looking banks were getting hit by other competitors, and he chose to kind of go and take the road less traveled and fished a unique bait, Texas rigged, on some do-nothing banks, okay? Places where you would like, well, I'm not gonna fish there. It doesn't look like anything. Well, that's where those fish were holding, and Hank was able to win the Bassmaster Classic using this bait. And to have Monster Bass be able to bring this back out to the public, super, super cool. And then you want something that's gonna blow your mind? Robert Hamilton Jr. won the Bassmaster Classic on a Stanley jig with the Hales Craw Worm as a trailer on Logan Martin in 1992. So just so you understand, we have a classic winner on this jig, we have a classic winner using this just Texas rigged, and then we have a classic win pairing this as a trailer. Now, if you look at this jig here, it's a 3 16th, and you can see this Hales Craw's a little bit longer than what I would like to see as a trailer. So what I would recommend is actually cutting off the tip of this bait 
So all you're going to have here, you can see, is just that much. And I would thread it on the uh, on the hook of this jig or any, or any jig that you'd like to use and give it a try, man. That is so cool. Who would have thought? Three different applications with these two different baits to win a Bassmaster Classic. All right, we have some terminal tackle here. We have a four-odd straight shank hook designed by Lonnie Stanley himself, who is actually a, a Bassmaster competitor. He's won multiple events. I think he qualified for five Bassmaster Classics back in the day. So this would actually pair, pair well with that hail craw worm. And you can use this any anytime you want a Texas rig or you want to, uh, or if you have a stick bait, uh, this hook would work out great. Super exciting. I mean, back in the day, uh, this was the deal. And for some reason, you know, there's so many more hook manufacturers out there that oftentimes we forget about the goodies. And this is certainly a great looking hook that's going to, uh, that's going to be perfectly paired with the plastics that come in the Monster Bass bag. Oh yes, one of my all-time favorite creature baits, the Berkley Power Bait Chigger Craw. Now here's my favorite thing about Power Bait, the smell. I could smell this for hours. It's such a uh, comforting smell as a bass angler. Uh, it's a smell I'm familiar with. You know, a lot of times baits are just nasty. And to the certain people, this probably is nasty. But to bass and to myself, I love this smell. And that's one of the benefits of the Berkeley Power Bait, why it's so effective. Not only the design, but the smell uh, that they use. They claim that fish will hold 18 times longer now. I don't know how they do that, but they're very scientific when it comes to baits and baits design. Um, if you just look at the history of Berkeley with Berkeley Gulp, Berkeley Power Bait, Berkeley Max Scent, it's all there. And in 2007, the first Bassmaster Classic I went to, Boyd Duckett, sealed the deal when he went to heavy cover and he was punching this chigger craw and was able to win down on Lay Lake in Alabama. And again, the reason why I'm here today is because of the events that happened and unfolded at my first Bassmaster Classic. Seeing in person has really got me excited. So I would say out of all the baits, man, it's hard to choose. That 1.5 KVD, the cool history about the Stanley jig, I, I don't know. But I'm gonna have to go with the power bait, the four inch power bait. But in this bag, you're gonna get the green pumpkin. And it truly, truly is a fish catching machine. You can rig these so many different ways. You can Texas rig it. Now listen, Boyd was using a heavy weight, punching it through heavy cover, which is one of the reasons why I love the Chigger Cross because it slips through that heavy cover so easily. I use this bait for flipping, man, 60, 70% of the time when I'm, when I'm punching, I'm using the Chigger Cross. So, uh, I'm sold on it. I already know it works. I've caught hundreds, thousands of fish on, on this bait. But you can also use it on a pivot head uh, and drag it real slow. You can swim it in the water column. Uh, you can use it on the back of a swim jig, which I highly, highly recommend uh, as a swim jig trailer. And don't forget, you can also go down in your weight size if you want to get more finesse. You can use an eighth ounce, quarter, whatever the case, depending on the conditions, and fish any type of cover from grass to hard cover to rocks. So this chigger craw is definitely going to help you catch some more fish for sure. We got one more bait. We got one more bait to go through. Wow, sick color. The Monster Bass Hammerhead designed by Alex Rudd himself. Now it has not won a Bassmaster Classic yet. You just watch. The paint job. Mezzer baits, custom patterns. Look at that. If that's not a springtime color, I don't know what is. This is the silent edition. So if you want to get real finessey this coming spring, when these fish move up shallow, again, you're going to want to crash this into any cover that you can see. Any visual cover as you're going around, you want to make cast to it. I don't care if you're in a boat or if you're on a bank. This crankbait's probably a bank angler's dream because it's going to come through cover. A lot of times when you're on a bank and you're throwing a reaction bait like this, uh, you know, when you get hung up, you can't go get that bait. This is going to come through cover really well for you and it's definitely going to help you catch some more giant bass 
uh, this coming season. But I love the fact that it's a collab, you know, collaboration between Alex Rudd, who's a great angler. He knows how to catch those fish when they get up shallow, and he knows how to work a square bill. So this is really a little cool bonus that came, by the way, in the new bag, okay? This bag right here is legit. You guys know I'm all about tackle organization. The fact that Monster Bass went to a bag and we can reuse these bags, we can put the baits that we want to use for the day. Let's say you just want a quick day bag. That's where this is gonna come into play. Of course, it fits all of the Bassmaster Classic winners right here in the bag. Zip it up and away you go. Super, super cool. I'm glad I could share this quick video with you. Uh, I'm excited to throw these. Now, unfortunately for me, I don't have a boat just yet. I'm kind of in between boats. I'm itching. The part of the country I'm from, the Northeast, you know, I could go out there, but it's a little cold. The best fishing's yet to come for me, and so that's what makes uh, that's what makes this exciting. Being able to get these baits and start thinking about ways I'm going to throw these in the future really, really gets me fired up. You want to get your hands on this bag? Here's how you do it. Monsterbass.com. If you sign up for their mailing list, you're actually going to get 20% off discount. And they also have, if you subscribe to a three-month bag, you're actually going to get six baits included in that purchase. So you definitely want to take advantage of that. It really is an awesome concept that's going to allow you to get baits. For me, it's getting baits that I probably would never have thought of or used before and then be able to put that into my arsenal. I got baits all over the place. I'm always looking for new ideas and that's what gets me fired up is trying to figure out a way to catch more fish. So shout out to Rick with Monster Bass for being able to put this together. I mean, also Ken Duke, man, thank you for the information and the history lesson behind these baits. It truly, truly is cool to be able to, first time, I don't know anyone that's been doing something like this. I mean, this is, this took a lot of time and research to put together and to be able to bring this out to the general public, the fishing fools that are out there, my hat's off to you.